Hello and welcome to yet another dimension. I'm Jeremy and it's October and you know what that means. Halloween, you know, spooky season. And uh you know, I think it is a perfect time to look at all my horror games. I'm gonna go by you know, genre section by section uh throughout the next couple of days. Uh first I'm gonna go through my lighthearted, more kid friendly, I guess, comedy uh horror games where it's not really that scary but uh there's still horror games you know still respect them it's still pretty good okay first we got a old school one medieval for the original ps1 uh this is a third person hack and slash game uh, uh pretty fun uh and also they actually did a remake for this uh for the ps4 recently came out and it's uh, that's good too so check it out, Medieval. And it also has a sequel as well on the PS1. And also, oh, a famous skeleton. We have Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, this is actually a really good game. You know, usually licensed games is not that good, but it was made by Capcom. You know, people known for Resident Evil and um, also Devil May Cry, which is a, a lot like Devil May Cry. So this is a lot of fun. Hack and Slash. Try it out. Oh, now one of my favorites as a kid, one of my first, first horror games on the GameCube, we have Luigi's Mansion, the original, yeah. I was so excited to play as, as Luigi in his own game. I guess they had uh, Mario as missing back in the day, but that doesn't count. This is his first real game uh, back on the GameCube when it originally came out. And I was, oh, I was so excited because he's my favorite, favorite Nintendo character and he finally got it. And this is a great game. Uh, it's, it's short, but it's short and sweet. Uh, it's still fun to play to this day. And it has a great atmosphere. And great graphics. Oh, it was realistic. So realistic back in the day. Uh, it has a sequel, Dark Dark Moon. But I'd, I've never played that. I don't have that yet on the 3DS. But I did get the third one. Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, so, uh, this is great as well. Um, not as... Now, the atmosphere of it is not as good as the original, but the gameplay is so much fun. And also, you can uh, turn into Ghoul Luigi and he help you with uh, some of the obstacles in this. Great, great. You should get it if you have a Switch. Oh, now, everybody knows this. Alice in Wonderland, but this is Alice Madness Returns. Um, this is an American McGee game. Uh, I, he made a Alice in Wonderland game back in the day. Actually, I think there's a voucher for this on the game. Yeah, you can get it on the disc. Oh, no, you have to download it, of course. But uh, this is supposed to be a really good game, Hack and Slash, and it's a very dark take on it, so I consider it hoarder. Hor hoarder? I'm a, uh, you know I'm a hoarder. Look at this. But horror. It's great. Oh, now we have another Capcom horror franchise, not named Resident Evil. We have Dead Rising. Yeah. This came out uh, close to the launch of the Xbox 360. It was like, exclusive. And uh, this is known for like all the zombies that, that can come on the screen. There's like hundreds. And uh, Frank West, he's, he came to see what's going on in the city. And uh, he's a photographer. <laughs> and you can take pictures of the zombies and all that. It's more of a comedy game, but it's still a little bit of horror in it. Uh, you only have, yeah, you only have 72 hours to beat the game. So, it's, I mean, in-game. And it's a pretty cool game. Cool concept. And then here is the sequel, Dead Rising 2. I don't believe it was made in-house at Cap Capcom, but it's still a good game. Uh, you play as Chuck Green. He's looking for his, I mean, his daughter is infected, so he's looking for the cure. Uh, I think it's a more serious take on it, a little bit. But still a good game. You should try it out. Oh, now we have Red Dead Redemption. Game of the Year edition. Which includes the Undead Nightmare DLC. Which is uh, great. One of the best examples of DLC in a game. And uh, this is like the DLC in it. The Undead Nightmare. It's more of a lighthearted <laughs> zombie take. Uh, I think his... Uh, actually his... Uh, da not daughter, but son and wife turn into the zombies and he has to like tie them down and like he has to get rid of all the zombies in the town 
It's uh, kind of crazy, but check that out, DLC. Next, we have Never Dead by Konami. A uh, little, I guess, hidden gem. It didn't really get that good reviews when it first came out, but you can find it for cheap, and you should, should, because it's pretty funny, pretty uh, hilarious. Uh, this guy died a long time ago. I think they brought him back to life, and now his job is to kill demons for the government, but he can't die. He's like immortal. So in the game, you can get your head cut off, arms, limbs. You can roll around just like a just a, a, a head rolling around. And it's uh, pretty funny. You got a sidekick, some chick. But it's cool. Give it a try. You find it for cheap. Next, oh man. So this is kind of a disappointment game. Uh, still a pretty good game. We have Shadows of the Damned. Uh, this was supposed to be like the big next game for Suda51, the guy who made Killer is Dead, Killer 7, uh, also No More Heroes on the Wii. Yeah, so, and also it's supposed to feature Shin Mikami, of course, the guy who made Resident Evil, like, and also Akira Yakamoka, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the guy that does the music for Silent Hill, so like a trio of great great minds in horror and uh Japanese game making and they come out with this. So I recently found out that it wasn't really directed by Suda fifty one. Like he had little involvement in it and it got so messed up because of EA. Yeah. Uh just look up EA and how much they mess up their companies, how many times they close it down. But this game is still good. You go into hell and you go try to get your girlfriend back from this demon. Um, it's uh, it's more of a comedy game. I mean, it's still fun. It's basically a uh, bootleg Resident Evil 4, to be honest. It's still a good game. You should try it out. It's getting up there in price, so you should get it while it lasts. I don't think they're going to port it anytime soon. So uh, now another horror type game, but this is Hack and Slash. Lollipop Chainsaw by, I believe, Suda, yep, Suda51. Now, I think, I believe he directed this or he was heavily involved in it. And uh, I haven't really put that much time into it, but this is definitely tongue in cheek comedy. You play as a, <laughs> or a, a cheerleader that uh, slays zombies. It's freaking silly, dumb, but it's a uh, good fun. I mean, you have your boyfriend's head attached to your hip it's it's freaking silly it's, it's suda 51 if you know what i'm talking about look him up look up his games they're crazy but it's, it's fun now we have uh, um one of the rarest most expensive xbox games original xbox we have Stubbs the zombie rebel without a pulse you know this is um like uh you turn like you just come back to life as a zombie and like you just start eating people and this takes place i believe in the 1950s so you know that era they have like it's very tongue-in-cheek funny game comedy uh lots of fun though too you get to <laughs> it kind of oh yeah it was made in the the halo engine as you can see that and it does play a little bit like halo like you drive around in your car and people be flying it's it's pretty funny and uh once you turn people into zombies you can command them and it's 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 great fun if you can find this for a decent price i think it's worth it uh but this goes for like a hundred dollars now just for the disc okay now we have like you know kind of a eh game but still fun if you like zombies we have dead island uh which when this was really the trailer for it was re really well known it was a really great trailer it was like serious but then it, the game comes out, you see more of it. It's more like silly, dumb action. Uh, it takes place, it's like first person's hack and slash. Um, you're just doing like missions and stuff. And it's an alright game. It's made by Techland. Uh, but Techland came out with an even better game. The Death Dying Light would have parkour. It's some similar first person. You can go around with missions, killing zombies. Uh, but uh, that's a better game than this, but you should try it out. This is the game of the year edition I mean if you're into zombie science lane, you can't do much worse And then the last game I'm talking about in this video we have Yaba Yaiba Ninja Gaiden uh, So he's just like a 
this is like a spinoff of the Ninja Gaiden games. This got lambasted in the uh, reviews. They said it was crappy. I think it's cool, like stylish. Uh, it has um, what's that one art style? Shell shaded. It has shell shaded art style, which it looks cool. I mean, your undead cyborg ninja killing zombies. Like, come on, don't think too much about it. I think because it wasn't really like the other Ninja Guy games or series. But uh, that's more of my lighthearted video uh, horror games that, you know, anybody can play. You won't get, you won't piss your pants watching it. But uh, tune in next time. We'll talk about probably my first person shooter games, more serious horror games, but still fun. Uh, I'll see you on the next dimension. See ya.